No pony is saying your job isn't important. The plans you make with your friends are important too. <sighs> I know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have forgotten. Obviously, I need to be available to my students, but that doesn't mean I can't help with all the things we have to do. Good. Great. So, what are all the things we have to do? Hmm. Mod needs streamers for the decorations. Sunburst wants us to pick up a genuine pre-equestrian spring solstice chafing dish from the antique shop. Of course he does. Mudbriar wants a bouquet of flowering sticks, whatever that means. And I thought we were both looking forward to Mrs. Cake teaching us the secret recipe to her famous spring solstice cake. Oh, I totally am. <laughs> but we could just buy a cake from her, right? We could. But then we'd miss out on baking together. Plus, the time I spent flattering and convincing and begging her to share the recipe would be for nothing. And we promised to make a cake, not buy a cake, and the great and powerful Torexi keeps our promises! Okay, why don't we just split up these jobs? I'll get the streamers and the chafing dish. You get started on those sticks, and I'll be right back. Why don't I just hang on to this? Wouldn't want to forget the things I just said I'd take care of. Because I am totally gonna take care of them. Could it be Plum Blossom? I have no idea. Ah! Oops. <sighs> Sorry, Rose, but I need a bouquet of flowering sticks set. I thought I was getting the flowering sticks. Uh, I'm still not exactly sure what they are. No one is. Right, got it. You get the sticks, I'll get the streamers. Right after I take care of what I'm sure is an even smaller student problem than the last one. <sighs> I think I have the shower thing under control, but I can't figure out how to describe a towel. Smolder, I understand the school can be a bit drafty, but that doesn't mean you can breathe fire anywhere you want. What do you mean Trixie already picked up Sunburst's genuine pre-equestrian Equinox chafing dish? That was my job! I think. Wait. Was it? Uh. Azelis, it's perfectly normal for a changeling to struggle with identity issues, but... Counselor Star! When you're done, I need some synonyms for the word dry, or really just help explaining the concept. Wait, Mrs. Cake! You can't close. Trixie and I need to learn the recipe for your Equinox cake. Oh, it's fine, dear. Trixie was already here. I told her everything she needs to know. What? No! Oh, the great and powerful Trixie might keep her promises, but the busy and distracted Starlight sure doesn't. I promised to help her today, and I haven't done a single thing! Oh, that does sound hard, dear. A and I'm not quite sure how to tell you this, but your health is glowing. Of course it is. Trixie? What are you doing here? It's the one place I knew I could find you. I am so sorry about today. I'm just so busy, I know. Obviously, your students are more important than your friends. That's not... Starlight, do you have a minute? Actually, Silverstream, I don't. Besides, I need to lock up the school for the holiday, and it's time you caught the train home. I'm sure a smart and capable student like you can figure out the solution to any problem over the break. But for now, the counselor's office is closed. I have a cake to bake. Yow! Is this cake supposed to be so sharp? I mean, it looks really interesting. Technically, it's not symmetrical or aesthetically pleasing. Maybe it's not the best cake, but we made it together, and that's what counts. I'm glad you brought it, and everything else. 
I'm very excited. This is going to be the most perfect party ever. And with all of your students home for the holiday, I won't have to worry about you being summoned to your office in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to take me away from this party. Hello, Starlight? Starlight? Sorry, this is a private cavern. Is Starlight here? I was told she'd be here. What's wrong? I'm Terramar, Silverstream's brother. I've been looking all over for you. Silverstream is missing. Ah! <gasps>